So here's the newest project I was working on, me and my buddy are working on, Vulcan 750. Um, but here's what was wrong with it. Um, number one, uh, when I pulled all the tool lines off, you can see they're really rusted and they, uh, some of the pieces fell off. So I'm going to flush out all the lines and stuff. I got some coolant uh, radiator, uh, super flush, pressed down. Uh, so I'll do that. And uh, here's the radiator. I took it off. And... Uh, Actually, to access the carbs, so that way I could remove the front mounting bolt for the uh, air box, um, just so I could get those lifted up just a little bit, so I can get just a little more access space. But I figured it's not a bad idea to remove them that radiator either way. Um, but as you can see, there uh, those uh, ends are really rusted out. Same with here. So we'll see what I have to do. I may have to replace these. I can replace the ones going into the motor here. Um, but any of these here, I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. Uh, I remove this and replace this whole piece here that goes in there. You look, this one also is rusted out. So what I may do is I may be able to f slide the hose on a little further. Uh, but, you know, then again, I don't know. So if I can do that or not. Also, one other thing is when it ran, uh, he was telling me that something about a spring next to a spark, it's right near the spark plug or something like that, and I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about, spring. When I was running it, I did notice a timing chain slap, so I'm like, oh, timing chain tensioner. So, uh, we're gonna probably, I'm probably gonna go figure out which tensioner is bad. Um, it's probably this one back here, because this is the one that sounded like it, so something's probably wrong here, and, uh, we'll replace that especially before we kind of run it more than that, well we have to. And same, same up here, I'll inspect this one here. Um, but he said this is probably a time chain tensioner, so that's probably what he meant. Uh, probably thinking of spring some sort. Uh, but anyways, um, show you another issue with it. So number one, the fuel gauge don't work. Um, he said it wasn't working when he came down here, and uh, so he doesn't know how much fuel in it. When I've removed the gas tank, um, I've I did not uh, remember unplugging anything um, for the sending unit. So and this here is the sending unit wire. So I think what happened is this just came unplugged. So hopefully that's good. If not, then I will just replace the sending unit, and uh, hopefully that's the problem. Uh, another thing is when I had the when we had it running, we'd get it up to about seven grand, which is quite a bit. And it would actually cut down um, just a little bit because of the bogging and then it would just backfire and have a lean pop. So I did just the carburetors and stuff and clean them. And I moved the needle down a little bit, adjusted the needle uh, just to make it go a little richer. The cars weren't bad, but you know, I only got one shot at this, so I got to make sure I put it back together. And once it's back together, it's correct because there's a lot of work to getting to those carburetors. And... I'd have to pull the carbs back off if um, it's not right. So, anyways, um, I do want to change the oil too. I got to get another oil filter for the front here. And uh, we did, we got 1030. Uh, calls for 1040, but maybe we have 1030, so whatever. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's just a matter of just fixing the ends of these coolant here and seeing if I can replace them or not and uh oh yeah what did I want to show you um another thing is when he came down here he said the uh, MPH gauge was not working at all so um I'm like figuring out I'm like huh what could that be well if you actually kind of think about it if you look in the front here I believe a cable goes here for right here so the cable and it usually connects somewhere in the front here. Um, usually it's in the front. Uh, not sure where I'd have to take a look. Um, or maybe the back, probably in the back here somewhere. But uh, I don't know. I'll have to find out where it goes. Um, and then just put a cable on. Maybe that's, I don't know why it's missing or whatever. But, you know, figure that out. Considering this is shaft drive, it could also be somewhere in here. Um, but you know, if you actually think about it, when does when does some actually 
you know, when does the cable actually go to the rear, you know, they usually put them on the front, so, I don't know, um, but another thing that needs to get fixed is the choke mechanism here broke, and hazard light doesn't stay in, lights work, but, uh, it doesn't always go onto that turn signal, that one goes a little fast for some reason, but, not worried about that. Then the high beams. The high beams work and everything, but I'll probably just see if I can get another one of these handles or some off eBay or just replace it. Um, but you know, I gotta see what he wants to do. It's his bike, so um it's pretty much it. So so far it's going pretty good. Um, just got a had a hard time getting them carbs off because of all the stuff that was in the way and stuff, but like they say, it's always harder to get back on and to get off. Ain't that the truth for these carbs? Oh, I can't wait. But, um... Yeah, that's about it um, for now. Besides the coolant flushing and stuff that I gotta do. Here's the radiator. Test make sure the fan works and stuff because there's a few things that didn't work on this, so I'll just double check, hook some voltage up to here. And you know, really, basically, the only way I can tell that this is going to work is if I bring the bike up to a certain temperature and this fan kicks in, um, which it usually will at a certain temperature. Uh, but you know, right now, in this these temperatures out here, I wouldn't be able to tell because uh, right now it's winter time well just about winter time and it's, it's even snowing outside there right now so you know I won't be able to probably want I'm not even sure if I'll be even able to get this engine hot enough to see if that fan kicks in but whatever uh, maybe if I hold it at a certain RPMs for a while but it should work so and if not well I'll just have them let me know and then uh, we'll figure out the issue from there. So, that's pretty much it um, so far. And then we'll uh, continue working on it. And hopefully we can get it running. And that should be it.